So we have the issue with next door, the small coop, the bantam chickens, with two of them going broody. We now seem to have little squash here, who seems to have gone broody. We've been taking her eggs away, um, and we'll see how she goes. She is a hybrid chicken, so generally they're renowned for not actually going broody, but she seems to have gone broody on us. The Aracana also, it's been a bit off colour the last couple of days, so we've been keeping an eye on her. She's still got uh, food in her crop, uh, but she was outside of the enclosure today, so mum Mom, when mum went out she said she was in here fine so she must not have been out for very long but she was just kind of stood there and watching these guys have been otherwise fine and she had a nice egg in here and um, that she sat on no other problems with feather picking in this coop they've been absolutely fine since you put the little hen saddles on uh, this little diatomaceous earth by the way up on the, on the walls here um, so just giving them some food with some they had a bit of watermelon left over so I've just put that in and put some more pellets in there with them um, the arrow kind of came straight in but she has got a bit of she every so often she gets a bit of like fluid on her chest kind of thing so I just kind of watch her see how she goes she generally gets over it um, but she um, she seems to be quite bad at the moment so I'm just gonna keep an eye on her um, she's otherwise eating and drinking and runs out in the morning like nothing's wrong so just keep an eye on her and see how we go right I'll close these guys up if you can there we go the evening feeding time hello oh, look Free, free. Free, yeah. Come on. Mean, aren't you, this old? You're mean. Keep it cool. With you, I feel a breaking rules on the edge. Looking now with no parachute. You know, I'm dreaming about it. But all check if anyone else has got any better food than them. All the same. I'm going to show you uh, milking uh, this morning. All these little guys, let's let them. If you're going to get just walk down here. So, as you can see, they move the milking stand around, and yes. So what I'm going to try and do is put this on this door, spin the camera around, and hopefully you can see me milking is what I'm going to hopefully see.
but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Uh oh. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I'm faking the stage shit, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Cause I just want to call my friends and see what they're doing tonight. It doesn't have to be so special. I try to be myself, do the same and we'll be alright. I originally thought this was a squash plant, but now I think it might be a melon because these are definitely looking more melon like now. But quite a lot, we just counted. I think we've got about 20, 21 growing at the moment on this entire plant, and it's gone crazy. So, oh, yeah, and the Swiss chai is doing amazing. We've got more here. They're definitely going yellow. They've started off green. They're now going yellow. They're looking more like kind of like Fuji kind of melons now. I'm thinking we got a bit confused. Maybe that's a melon one. But if I show you the size of it, 
It's going crazy. Okay, that's the size of the one plant. But that's great if you've got 21 melons, because obviously the, the hens eat melons every day, of course, part of a melon every day, um, as some of the enrichment foods that are given the treat. Um, other things are doing well, Courgette's doing amazing, we've got some more cabbage growing there. Um, beans are doing a lot better now. Uh, the kale's kind of coming to the end of its time, so we've just planted some new stuff. Um, cauliflower leaves are doing amazing. We've got some purple pak choy now that we've just planted. The kohlrabi is pretty much gone, we have one plant left. That was really good actually. Um, so we've got some cabbage left. The peas are like gone now. We're going to use that for something else. Um, sprout and broccoli in this one. St uh, we've still got a bit left, but it's nearly done. The kale, I say, we've pulled out all the, a lot of them. We've got some new little, we've got some kalets in there. The, um, sprouts, this is beans, so we've got some flowers and beans now growing up here and then obviously the Swiss chard which is still doing pretty good so it has an amazing crop. So we've got some cucumbers, lots of tomatoes, we've got quite a lot of these yellow tumbling tomatoes that are looking quite good now. Oh I can see some red tomatoes there at the back, mum may have missed those. I have to remind her. We've got some peppers going. We've got some cucumbers. We've got some chilies here. We've got a cucumber there. It's growing quite good. The melons at the back here. And so this one here, it looks like it's got a little bit of a. You're not listening. There you go. It's got a little bit that looks like it might be a starting to grow a melon there. They've got these little heads on them, so. I'm hoping they're going to grow. We've got some on this one too here. So, hopefully, they're going to do well. These guys have got some peppers starting. It's here. There it is. <laughs> and then we've got some peppers here. We've got some chilies on this one. We've got some chilies on this one. Some more cucumber. I think one of these is meant to be a melon as well. I think it might be with this one here. Um, but again, they're not doing as well in here as the one outside. So it might be that we're just, we're hopefully going to fill these two up here with compost and get them sorted. So we started to line this one. So we just finished lining the one ones over there. So they've been planted up now. We're starting to fill this one up. And then we've got this one to do. And then we have two more pallets up there which we will be making into a raised bed at some point um, over the next very few weeks as long as we get some nice weather. Um, we've got some feathers coming back on the chickens so they're looking a bit better. Um, fingers crossed. We still haven't got word that the new chickens are coming yet. She I messaged the lady the other day and she said they still haven't arrived, the ones that I've um, asked for, so we're still waiting for those. Go away, go away little um, butterfly. So we've got lots of netting on them now, so hopefully she can't lay any eggs on there. Um, but otherwise, everyone else is doing pretty good. But I'll see you again a different day. Bye!